Oh, uh, Blue with Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, and with, yes, and with oh, I got and Yu-Gi-Oh! What's up, man? I got Yu-Gi-Oh! Guys, here's one of those guys. All right, we have, oh, top 32 contestant here. Please introduce yourself to the world. Hey, guys, I'm Max, uh, top 32 at Nats, playing Solomon Great Snake Eye FTK. FTK? So, My FTK. goodness, who made you decide to play this deck for the event? Uh, so Solomon Great plays through hand traps, Snake Eye plays through hand traps, he puts the two together, you're playing through two to three hand traps and still setting up a board, and if no one's playing hand traps, you're FTKing your opponent. Before we see the guru, any shout outs? Uh, shout out Uncrowned Kings, shout out my guys from Scoop, Pat and Eddie, shout out my boy Matt for hitting me with the, with the FTK idea, uh, my boy Brandon Nevin for hitting me with the FTK idea. Um, shout out Buckeye Fa, if you come to Columbus, go try Buckeye Fa. Uh, and shout out to my fiance. Yeah. All right, that's about it. Without further ado, please show us the goo. All right, so starting off with the Snake Eyes package, regular packages. So, three Ash, three Bell, two Poplar, one Oak, one Flamberge, and then one Snake Eyes Diabell Star. And then for the Salmon Grade engine, it's going to be one Solemn Grade of Fire, three Gazelle, one Jaguar, one Mole, one Weasel, one Foxy. Yo, how's the Mole? Bro, the Mole is nasty. The Mole is what gets you into the one card FTK combo. So you need to have the Mole, and, it, and its extension to summon to a Link Zone is also nasty too, because it's just like, you go into combo, search this guy if you're unable to get into um, Jack Jaguar, because there's some combos you have to go into him without using Jack Jaguar. And he'll just search you this, and then you just extend anywhere later into your combo as long as you have a link monster that has a zone that's pointed that's open. So yeah, this this guy has been MVP, and I think maybe once this whole tournament, I've used his effect where he cleared my board, and I recycled and drew two cards. So that was pretty nice. I mean, didn't need it, but the link, the um, what's it called? Well, the Snake Eyes package. That's what it is. This is the bridge for Snake Eyes package. Did you have an original into that? Yes, I original into this card every time I could. One like. I open Snake Eye Ash, summon Ash, nothing, summon Poplar, nothing, OSS, and just go into this guy and FTK him. And then for the rest of the Solomon Great Engine, for Monsters, there's going to be two more Spinny. Now for my Hand Trap lineup, it's one Droll, one Valor, one Mourner, and one Nib. And then for the other Hand Traps, Monster Hand Traps, three of this one. Generic, you know. Uh, and then for the last monster, MVP, Summon from Deck. No one knows what this card does, and it's just uh, Summon from Deck Burn. Part of the combo for burning. Every time I went into my deck, my opponents were looking at me like I was crazy, and I'm just like, just wait till I summon the monster, then you'll see what I'm doing, bro. <laughs> so, um, as for the spell cards, three Bonfire, which is standard, three Wanted, standard, one OSS. And one field spell, Snake Eyes field spell. Then for the solid part, two sign at mining. This card is really good. Um, the reason that this card is good because sometimes you'll have solid cards in your hand and you don't have Dia Bell Star. And most of the time it's going to be like any solid card, you do this, get Gazelle, and start extending. So if you open this and you open Snake Eyes combo with another solid card, you just go Snake Eyes combo, bait your opponent's hand traps. And once you feel like they're out of hand traps, you just go into this. And if they don't really hand trap you enough, you can go Apo and then activate this, get Gazelle, and then FTK your opponent. Uh, one Sanctuary, one Will. Three Circle. And then that'll be it for the Silent Great Engine for spells. And then just for generic spell cards, three talents. You just want to go off. And this deck is straight gas, so it's like, you try and stop me, I can at least rip a hand, a card out your hand, or I can extend to draw two, take a monster. Bistral Dispatter is pretty good out here. Um, Dispatter, yo, Blackwing's Dispatter, bro. That, that Dispatter was pretty nice. Uh, two Book of Eclipse. This card, um, pretty good blowout. And then it also protects you from, if you're getting Imperm, Mournered, anything like that. Stop hand traps. Stop hand traps. And then Droplet to Break Boards. And for my trap cards, three Imperm, and then the final burn card. Now that's it for the main deck. What's the main deck count? Man? Main deck count is 60. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So for the extra deck, we are playing one Apo, one Zelantis, then one IP, 
one Phoenix, one Hita. This card is needed for your FTK. You need a Spellcaster monster, and this is the e most easily accessible Spellcaster monster. Then you play one SP, one Promethean, and then that will be it for like the generic engine. And now for like the solid engine, you've got two Sunlight Wolves, two Raging Phoenix. The MVP of the extra deck, one Pyro Phoenix, one Wicked. This card is fantastic. You need this for the one card FTK. Uh, one Bay Lynx, which is how you bridge, and then one Mirage Thalia. So that's it for extra. And then for the side deck, I think my side deck was pretty standard aside from the solid cards in it. Uh, back row hate, back row hate, back row hate, more back row hate. Uh, try to stop my opponent. This card helps me play, I'm not completely through Shifter, but can help me play around Shifter. Just recycles my banished cards. This also helps me play through DD Crow and through Bell. I can also get a free pop out of it if I summon back Raging Phoenix or if I spinny a monster on the field. Uh, I think it's a Salmon Great Link monster, but if I spinny a Salmon Great Link monster, buffs this attack so I get a free pop. This card's pretty good. Um, target one of your, target three monsters in Grave or Banished. Recycle two special one, its effect is negated. Uh, Rage, regular for solid, and then Roar, regular for solid. These cards go going in first, probably against like Snake Eye and then other decks that this is beneficial going first against. Uh, clap Tenpai and whatever decks these affect. Clap Tenpai and Branded, which I never faced Branded. I faced Tenpai, never opened it, but these are good going first and going second cards in my opinion. Uh, that's about it. Nice. You want to show us that uh, one card <coughs> FTK? Yeah, I can show that one card FTK. So, I'm just going to pull out all the combo pieces really quickly. Mm. I need some water. Give me one second. This will probably just stay in the deck, so let's see, I need a spells LSS. <coughs> Alright, so these two are going to be the only cards that stay in the deck throughout this combo. There's going to be one point where I draw before I get to these two, so these two just need to stay in the deck. Um, I'll just put them on top, it doesn't matter if I draw them or if I search them. So you'll start off with Ash. Ash is going to search Poplar. Then you're going to special Poplar. Poplar is going to grab you OSS. Then what you're going to do is you're going to Ash Effect. Send these two to summon Oak. Then you're going to go Oak Chain Link 1, Poplar Chain Link 2, Dodge Bell, and this way. Do this. Send these two, Flamberge. Flamberge Effect, place any of these two here. Activate OSS. Send this off, and then you're going to summon Mole. Then what you're going to do is link these two off to go ahead and summon Hita. And this is when your opponent looks at you confused, like, why are you summoning Hita? Uh, you summon Hita, and you're going to trigger Flambers, summon two back. Then here, you just link these four off into the link four. Link it to the link four. Then you're going to link this off. So mind you, I have no cards in hand at this point. Link this off into Baylinx. Baylinx effect is going to trigger. That's going to grab you the field spells to your hand. You're going to activate the field spell and then relink this off into another Pyro Phoenix, triggering his effect to add a solid card from deck to hand, so you add Gazelle. Then you're going to link these two off into Wicked. Then you're going to trigger Gazelle, so summon Gazelle to Wicked. And then since the monster was summoned to a zone, I get to trigger Wicked, so it's going to be chain link one Gazelle, chain link two Wicked. And you need to do it this way so that way you can protect the Gazelle. So you banish the mole for Wicked, and this is where you're going to search Weasel. And then Gazelle is going to send Spinny to the graveyard. Then you special Spinny back, overlay these two. You go into Stalio. Your Stalio effect. Stalio is going to special summon Jaguar. Then you're just going to special summon Weasel, because you have two or more solids in the grave. You link these two off into Princess. Princess effect. You're going to special Hita back from the grave. Then you're going to link these two off 
It's a pyro phoenix. And you're going to trigger Weasel in the graveyard. So Weasel, when a solid, um, solid extra deck monster or ritual monster special summoned, you can put Weasel to the bottom of your deck, special a solid from your grave to your opponent's side of the field and draw a card. So we'll put this to the bottom of the deck, draw a card, it'll be a blank. So let's just call it a blank. And we're going to put this on the opponent's side of the field. And so then we'll burn based on Pyro Phoenix. So if a Link Monster special summons to my opponent's side of the field, I can burn them for that attack. So burn for 28. And then you're going to send these two to the graveyard to go into the deck. And that's where you're going to summon this guy trigger his effect and his effect is going to target to burn so that's going to be another 28 then you're going to go jack jaguar effect and you're going to want to recycle the stallio stallio comes up often so you recycle stallio summon here and then you can just link these two off i usually link it to sp um sp has no relevance because you can't activate its effect but if somehow your opponent is able to stop you you have sp oh this is a random card and then you add this to hand based off him going to the graveyard for his effect and then you set this, so as long as you don't get super polyed here during your draw phase, during draw phase you activate and burn your opponent for game. You tribute this for cost. My goodness. And that's, yeah, that's one card FTK. Hey, uh, again, uh, congrats on top 32, man. Thank you, thank you. So nice, man.